The Fox Kids Sportacular Saturday continues. myself. I am Count Dracula, Prince of Darkness, and I will be your host for this Halloween tale. Tonight, I shall present the story of a small town full of silly people and the terrifying visitation that passed through their lives all on one night. The sun is going down in San Zucchini, but then aren't we all more at home in the dark? Happy Halloween, everybody. Oh, I don't know, Chad boy. No one wants to try my special Halloween pizza. Yeah, what's on it? Pumpkin and candy corn. There, there, Uncle Wilbur. I'm sure that F.T. would like some, wouldn't you, F.T.? Here you go, little fella. Good dog. Maybe some TV will make you feel better. And now, Wacko Spooko Chiller Theater. And here is your hostess. Mrs. Whitmire, Mistress of the Dank. I told you this was a dumb idea. And now, tonight's feature, Revenge of the 48-Foot Eggplant. <laughs> In a few minutes, San Zucchini won't know what hit it. <laughs> what is it, Uncle Wilbur? It's a spicy one. My super gut buster jalapeno chili pepper and menudo. <laughs> Fourth of July already? Quiet! They failed! My glorious tomato balloons have failed! Well, at least it was a glorious failure, your highly harassedness. Igor, my lad, what you fail to realize is that a glorious failure is still a failure! <laughs> I should give up, close the lab, and move to my other... Logan! Someone stopped the film! I did. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be narrating. Well, didn't you get the Transylvanian serum I sent you? You must have. Syrup? Yum. It is essential to the plot. No, it's too dangerous. A tomato affected by that serum would be uncontrollable. <laughs> Have it your way. Now, where's that serum? Aha! Check out 
of the light show. Oh, and those tunes. Most excellently egregious. The soap. <laughs> Not bad. If you ignore the slight aftertaste of old dungeons. What is happening to me? to reduce myself. I am Count Spatula, Prince of Darkness, and I am invincible. <laughs> When Zoltan drank the serum, a great evil was unleashed on Sam Zucchini, as gangrene was soon to find out. Hurry! I have things to do! Places to go! People to buy! Either he's dead or my watch has stopped. <laughs> Not dead, foolish mortal. I'm dead. I am a vampire. Call a vampire! Uh, what's a vampire? He means vampire, you deadbolt. <laughs> oh, okay. Whoa, nice suit, dude. <sighs> On Halloween, how nice I shall use you to attack Sanzucchini, the world's first vampire tomato. Perhaps, if I can fit you into my busy schedule. Come back here, you traitor! <laughs> so many necks, so little time. Ow! No, 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 no. No biting and no blood. Not on a cartoon show. How can I be a vampire if I cannot bite your neck? What am I supposed to do? Kiss it? Yes, kissing is nice. I want to kiss your neck? Eh, I guess I can bite that. <laughs> The kiss of ketchup. I like it. Your custom of Halloween is so charming, Chad. People give away all these lovely sweets. Yeah, my dentist just loves it. Tara? Yes, Chad? Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen so many vampire costumes before. Chad, what is a vampire? A legendary creature that drinks human blood, cannot die, and dresses up a lot. Oh, <laughs> there must be lots of fun at parties. Let's get some more candy. Did you see that? Come on, FT. Let's find Tara. has possibilities. Igor? <laughs> Whoa! Gee, Master, this bad flapping looks like fun. Hey, you know what? Oh, Wicked, I wish I could fly. Igor! What? Stop that, you surf simp. The serum is designed for tomatoes. Humans don't get wings. What do we do now, your grimness? The whole town is turning into vampires. So, like, how does that help us? Soon there'll be no human necks left to kiss. Then those vampires will wander off, seeking new necks on which to feed, and San Zucchini will be ours! <laughs> Master! Ah, ah, ah. Bell Igor! <laughs> we should go! Huh? No, oh, right! Your Transylvaniosity! Blah, blah, blah! <laughs> behind this somehow. Yeah, lots of vampires. Tara, come look at this. 
Figure out how to save ourselves. But I only wanted to give you a kiss. It has been a wonderful Halloween night. Sam Zucchinians are making a dashing fashion statement. Now that tuxedo looks okay on Whitley, but uh, I like his Elvira outfit better. Uh, are you about done, friends of yours? <laughs> We're close. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Ah, that's better. Now then. As Gangrene rightly feared, everything was out of control. Wildly out of control. A horde of catch-up vampires had Wilbur and Tomato Guy surrounded. What a Halloween this was turning out to be. that F.P. had disappeared, and the lovely Tara had become a real vamp. And always alert for new opportunities, Dr. Gangrene had already figured out how to capitalize on this situation. Welcome to Doc Gangrene's Vampire Village. Oh, great idea, your showmanship. We'll make a fortune. And conquer San Zucchini in the bargain. And then, then we will have the perfect cover for my newest scheme. Transylvania tomatoes. As excited crowds flock to my tourist mecca, my tomatoes will sweep down on them and bluey. Yaha! 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 But what about the tomato task force? A good point. Perhaps we shall see in the next scene. Doc Gangreen's Wampire Village, where the toxic waste meets the sea in the beautiful San Zucchini. Hello? Hello? Tomato Task Force? Hello? Operator, I've been cut off. It's a conspiracy. You think everything's a conspiracy? Everything is. Look! This is the end. We're doomed. If we're gonna go down, we're gonna go down. Fight! You can't do that. They're our neighbors. You're right. I think I saw this scene in a movie once. Yeah. What happened? You don't want to know. <laughs> Oh, huh. 
Soon, soon. I hope. Where'd you get the alligator? Uh, he used to work for another studio, but he got uh, tired of dancing with hippos and elephants. I mean, you try lifting one of those things. Brother, they're with me! Save the day, I guess. We are the heroes. Uh, two seventy-five. Here's three dollars. Can you wait? Why not? Here somewhere. Whoops! Wrong switch. This is it. I've made my last anchovy and butter brickle pizza. Never again will I fire up the oven. Stop trying to cheer me up. We're gonna be turned into vampires, and I hate dressing up. Come on, hurry! The meter's running on the alligator. Keep the change. Uh, thanks a lot. This is Gangrene's factory. Who else could be behind Vampire Tomatoes? Right. Let's get him. Charge! Stand and deliver. Up the rebels. Fifty-four forty are right. Is he crazy? I'd say so. Yes. Tell me how to turn him back into people. Or I'll cut me a slice of gangrene pizza. But there is no cure. Vampirism is a permanent condition. Look! And there! You're finished, Bin Laden. This looks like the end. You're right, it is. What time is it, Uncle Wilbur? Hmm? Uh, uh, 25 minutes after 12. Five o'clock. Five o'clock? That's the big hand. Oh, oh. Uh, why, Chad? Because sunrise is at 5.01. Watch. deal. So the kid has an almanac. But tonight, when the sun sets, they'll all be vampires again, and they'll make more vampires. <laughs> Nothing can stop me now. I've won! I've won! <laughs> Not so fast. But you're a vampire. How come you didn't, uh... Sunblock number 99, my own invention. <laughs> I must apologize for giving this yo-yo my vampire formula. I'm taking it back. The people of San Zucchini don't have the class to be vampires. And we don't need a bad press. Here, the antidote. Mix it with your pizzas. Feed it to the locals and your vampire problems are over. And squash those tomatoes. And now, as for gangrene... Now where'd he go? Oh, we end a lot of shows this way. Shut up and run! the bat image. It's so primal. I like bats. They're survivors, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, are you sure this is safe? In a moment, Igor. So, I decided to borrow the look with the assistance of my faithful flunky here. You wanted to fly, Igor. Are you ready? No. Is this gonna hurt? Not if you learn how to fly. <laughs> Can't we talk this over, master? <laughs> Uncle Ted here. Every weekday, Bobby's World's got more surprises than you can shake a 10-foot pole at. That's something you don't see every day, huh? <laughs> hey, what am I saying? Of course you do. When you watch Bobby's World every weekday here on Fox Kids, I don't know what I was thinking.